what's up? Good morning. This is Startup Survival here. I'm uh, camping at the moment. Just woke up a few minutes ago. Uh, cut down the food bag from the tree. Well, not cut, but I took it down. Now I'm just boiling up some water to make some, uh, some tea and some oatmeal. Got the oatmeal here. I like to eat two packets because one is just not enough when you're out in the uh, out in the woods. Got some dried fruit here. I'm probably gonna sprinkle some of that in there as well to give it a bit of extra taste. And uh, I don't know where my tea is, but it's around somewhere. I'm using the uh, the pocket rocket, the MSR here. Um, I've got a aluminum um, pot on top with a lid. The lid actually comes off and turns into a frying pan, and the uh, the handles they fold nicely against the side of the can, so it's easy to pack up. Um, yeah, slept uh, really good last night actually. Um, you can see behind me, uh, there's my tent. There's my toque that I always bring. Uh, I always sleep cold no matter what time of year it is. It's, um, it's July right now and uh, actually pretty hot during the day, but at nighttime it does uh, get chilly. So I'm all bundled up right now. I'm wearing the North Face jacket. Got some Adidas pants on. Um, yeah, but uh, my sleeping system is pretty, pretty badass right now. I've got the uh, sleeping bag, uh, which is a down five degree bag. And also I've got the uh, Thermarass sleeping pad. I've got um, a inflatable pillow as well. And I've got like a sweet tent you can see behind me there. Um, so yeah, I'm rocking the sleeping system these days. It's just amazing. Uh, the place that I'm camped right now, uh, this is called um, Green Drop Lake. And you might be able to see it a little bit in the distance there. Um, I'll have some other footage of it, just in case that doesn't show up that well. But uh, yeah, we arrived yesterday here <clears throat> after quite a long hike. It was probably about, <clears throat> excuse me, it was about three hours or so uh, in total walking time. We stopped at another lake first, um, which was called Lindemann Lake, and it was pretty nice too, but there was a lot more people there. So we decided to make the extra journey to get to this lake. We got here and we found a site that was pretty awesome actually. Uh, my buddy's in a hammock, so he's not using a tent pad. Um, I am so we had an extra tent pad and gradually as the afternoon got you know longer and longer uh, more and more people started to show up and eventually um, a guy and his son came and uh, they just asked if, if they could use the other pad we were sitting on it at the time having dinner and uh, I don't know I had like pretty mixed emotions about that honestly um, you know we walked so far to get here and I mean the reason you come so far in nature is to get privacy and then people show up and they're literally like right across from me like I'll show you the other dude's tent right now um, so I don't know I was kind of pissed about that honestly but uh, at the end of the day it's like everybody works hard to get here and you know it's we got to share the facilities so it wasn't exactly ideal but uh, those guys were pretty quiet last night um, you know they were on their side of the tree we were on our side and uh, it was all good but um, I don't know I'm definitely gonna have to research camping destinations a little better like you got to balance between if you drive to a place obviously there's gonna be a lot of people there and uh, it's gonna be noisy like I went to a car camping place not too long ago and I heard car alarms going off like children crying you know it's like being in a shopping mall or something um, so I thought that walking this far out into nature um, spending that much time doing it uh, would guarantee me some you know privacy I suppose but it doesn't there's still people around so I'm starting to conclude that the only way to get true privacy when camping is to not even go to campgrounds anymore. It's, it's going to be to go somewhere that people go for day hikes and just like bring your backpack with you. Just get off the trail somewhere late in the day and just spend the night. Don't tell anyone. Don't make a huge fire or whatever. I guess I'm trending more towards the stealth camping. I'm starting to understand why people do it. It's cheaper and you get more privacy. So I'm definitely going to probably do a... Uh, definitely probably gonna do a, uh, a stealth camp in the near future but uh, you know this place is nice it's beautiful um, a lot of people come here for day hikes so yeah anyways I think my breakfast is pretty much almost ready I can see the pot uh, oh it's boiling nicely now let's turn this off so yeah I'm just gonna chill out and have some breakfast now and uh, wait for my buddy to wake up and uh, maybe another hour or so and we'll get out of this place, just pack up and uh, head back. It's a long walk back to the, uh, back to the road where we parked our car. Thanks for watching.